Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode of the Classic Mini Survival Guide, it's mostly just about providing an example of what a good engine should test out as for a leak down and compression testing. So in the previous video, linked up here, I did a compression leak down test on a single point injection car and we had some variation between the inner and outer cylinders on uh, compression. We also had some um, heavier leak down numbers on three, two, three, four cylinders. Well, this engine here, I just finished doing a compression leak down test on for the customer. And all the cylinders were basically the same. And leak down was, I think, less than 5% across this whole motor. So, um, really, the purpose of this video is just to provide an example of what a good engine should test out as. So, if you're checking out a car to buy, or, like, again, buying a used engine or something, and you have numbers that are as good as this, uh, chances are that, at least compression and leak down wise, this is in very good shape. So, uh, check out the footage and, and you'll see what I mean about how healthy this engine is. I do want to remind everyone that I am at high altitude, so my elevation is about a mile above sea level, so therefore I have a lot less air pressure to work with, so my compression numbers up here are going to be lower than they are at sea level just because there's less air to deal with up here. Anyway, check out the footage and see how healthy this engine is. In general, I don't really care necessarily what the number is exactly. All I care about is the consistency of the readings on the tester. So I've got the trigger hooked up and I will just reset the zero on the gauge and crank it over until it basically peaks, usually about four or five cranks. But first up, let me uh, set the throttle to be fully open. All right, 150 for cylinder number one. I'll go ahead and move to cylinder two. And cylinder two. Looks like 160. Move to three. And about 155 on cylinder three. And cylinder four. about 155 again so that tells me that this engine is fairly healthy it's got consistent compression across all cylinders so I'm gonna go ahead and move to the leak down tester and see what we can find but yeah this this is indication of good motor as far as uh, consistency of compression so the airlines hooked up gauge is reading 0% leakage so now we'll go ahead and hook it up to the car So, as you can see, the gauge has moved to, say, 2% on cylinder 1, which is an excellent reading. It means that the valves are sealed, the rings are sealed fairly well, so this is a very healthy cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this over to cylinder number uh, 3, 2, 4, it doesn't matter which one you go to next, just make sure the next cylinder is a top dead center and retest. But yeah, that's an excellent reading at 2% there. Go ahead and test cylinder three. And once again, we've got almost zero, maybe 1% leak down. So another very strong, very well air sealed cylinder. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to cylinder uh, four next. So cylinder four is hooked up. Double checker gauge. Gauge reads zero. And once again, the negligible change. So, cylinder four is in great shape as well. Let's move on to cylinder two. By the way, listen to what it sounds like when I disconnect it. That's air sealing right there. And finally, cylinder number two, once again, zero. maybe 1%. So, we've got great cylinder leakage, as in almost none across this entire engine. So this engine is very, very healthy. If we'd seen this gauge go from zero to say 10 or 20, we'd be able to hear the pressure leaking from say the valves or the exhaust or somewhere. So uh, yeah, this engine is very healthy. Well, hopefully you found that 
footage interesting and, and helpful. Like I said, this engine was in very good shape, but I just want to make sure that you guys got a good example of what a healthy engine should be like. So if you thought this video was interesting or helpful, let me know in the comments below. And likewise, if you have any suggestions on things I should test or do, please again, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another episode.